Hey, Wolf aside, hope you've had a good hiatus. Thanks, announcer man. Anyways, let's start this shit. Of course. Please welcome, uh, Wolf aside. Do that a little bit longer, like she told me just a little bit longer, a little bit stronger. I just have to be a little bit stronger. One thing I've always battled with is my motivation to do something versus me being inspired to do something. Right now, I'm writing this at my friend's house, on his laptop at 9pm while he's at work. That is a random strike of motivation I never get. But hey, it happened in this moment. I was hit with the strike of motivation, but I had no inspiration or ideas. So let me present this like a PowerPoint. Is what I would have said if I followed through when I was writing that part. Now I'm currently writing this at 3am in my own bed on my phone, 6 days later. Yeah, so I may have lost motivation before, so what? It won't happen again, right? It happened again. Motivation versus inspiration. My lifelong battle has lasted in many forms, but this is the biggest. I get these random sparks of motivation, mostly when I'm sad, in the shower, or at like 4 in the morning. They hit me at the most random times, and I can never fully grasp it. If I don't take control of the short term motivation I get, it fades away. And there it goes. But here's the problem. When I finally get that energy to create, my plate of ideas is empty, or my lust for inspiration is gone. I'll finally feel like putting the effort into working, but I don't know what I want to do. Do, 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 do. Welcome to our new show. Let's ask my lesbian assistant. Lesbian assistant, what is motivation and inspiration to you? I'm not even a lesbian. Answer the question. But I- Answer the question. Well... Motivation and inspiration personally, it's about- This is my biggest enemy, my biggest op, and I think I know many who can relate. Ironically enough, it was my lack of inspiration and motivation that made me think, holy shit. I can make a video about how my creative brain acts like a 40 year old married straight couple. I meant that word for word, by the way. So here's an example. Right now, I've recently been inspired by rewatching the MCU movies of the past 10 years to give my childhood a revisit. Along with this, I've also been artistically moved by The Weeknd's halftime show and D'Angelo Wallace's video style. But I've had absolutely no motivation to make anything with this eye-opening energy. What the fuck? Oh my god! Is this motherfucker really playing Fortnite? Fortnite game. Hello? I just think he's neat. Hello? 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 Uh, I think he's talking I want to record Tupac. a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Do, 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 do. What do I do if I constantly flip between not feeling like it, then feeling like it, but not having any ideas? Does this make sense to you? Does my monkey brain function in a slightly normal way? Find out on the next episode of Wolficide Fixes Shit. I feel like this is the video form of ADHD. Motivation versus inspiration. My urge to create and my brain sing a cool light and thinking I can do better always want to fight each other. So what's the solution? My mom always told me if I can't find a solution, Google it. So I tried to research this and see if this was an official problem. Turns out, uh, it is. Motivation is a push factor. It's an outside force that is compelling you to take action, even if you don't necessarily want to. Inspiration on the, uh, all right. This doesn't give me an answer to my problems, therefore I don't want it. Entrepreneur.com believes there is a way to master your key to the M word and truly harness the power. If this is true, and I can keep my artistic brain moving, maybe I won't end up sleeping on my boyfriend's couch in the future and depend on him to pay all the bills. Meanwhile, they believed being inspired is something you can only gain by jumping ship. Once you reach a point in your career, you need to find that light again. Just kidding, they worded it in a much more dull tone. I just spiced it up a bit. When a businessman can't help, I look for life hacks, and this website gives me three steps. One, connect the dots. Two, allow my environment to determine my mood. Three, don't work so hard. Well, that's boring. I'd much more prefer an article to tell me to do crack to boost my stamina. You see, actual life advice that won't help me because if I'm taking time to better myself, my ass isn't gonna get motivated and magically do a fucking jumping jack. I'll probably just get a negative KD on Cold War. It's not gonna work. This is just life bettering advice. It's not gonna help me work. If you're relying on inspiration, you're doing it wrong. By Anthony Moore. Reading through this, it seems like Anthony genuinely gets me. He understands my pain. He's gone through the same things I have. Being a workaholic for days on end and then just losing it. Reading here, he really, truly gets it. What was his solution? Just do it. Oh my god! That's it, y'all. Just do it. Fuck you, Anthony. So... Motivation versus inspiration. What do I do when my two worlds simply cannot cooperate? I write about it, and I hope this changes everything. I am still writing about it, right? Yeah. 
If you have any advice, please mail it to my house in Northeast Hawaii inside the volcano. Ciao. Yours truly. Sorry I was not aware that anyone could stop and stare at me as I begin to cry. Was hoping it could be just you and I. But that can't be the case. There's too many people in my face. Where did they come from? How can